welcome. Good morning. To a snowy edition of the morning cup. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's snow. It did. Ah. Was... What? You just got to notice that I tried to share something. Did you try and post it again on the thing? I did. Be, uh, it's being re- Lois doesn't it. know how to work the stuff. No, I do know how to work the stuff. It's just Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Facebook, Facebook. I know. Facebook. 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 Get him. Everybody out there, get him. Get the Zuck. Give him the emoticon enema. <laughs> <laughs> Hit those buttons. <laughs> Thanks to you guys for being here today. And thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing and making the Zuck's head explode. Yes. Thank you. Do it. Do hey. it. Do it. <laughs> Anyway. And Renee says, good morning. Good Had morning. to get the popsicles in the house. They are <laughs> loving it. Yes, yes. Um, yes, popsicles is right. It, yes. We had that this morning. Uh, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> and uh, um, Tigger, I think it's because uh, Tigger was on leash. Mm-hmm. Um, it, normally, when it comes to snow, Tigger will just scrape her body through it. Yeah. She just <laughs> like kind of flops it. Like goes, a snow <laughs> plow. <laughs> Hey, wait. <laughs> what? Maybe we could hire her out. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, monetize the dog. <laughs> She'd be good at something other than eating blankets. Oh, oh. That's another story. Yeah, we'll talk yes. about that later. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. But yeah, it, it actually snowed out there. If you haven't had a chance, we did take a picture and post it up this morning. And if you're a member of Behind the Hat, unplugged, then you got to see some video of one of the dogs out in the snow this morning yes. going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, pretty much. <laughs> it was, it was. And if you're wondering what is Behind the Head Unplugged, well, that is our behind the scenes group that you can join for $10 a month to help support the cause. If you'd like to join that, you can send us a text message here on Facebook or send us an email to lakepalnews at gmail.com. Yes. And don't forget, every dollar goes to help support LPN. A text message on Facebook? Yeah, that's uh, the text message on the messenger. Oh. <laughs> that's what that's called. <laughs> are you having, I, are you I okay? I thought it was a, a, a private message. Whatever. <laughs> you call it what you want. There's text involved and it goes across the interwebs into my stuff. And there is text involved. So. <laughs> Renee says, uh, that's my Bella and her nose in the snow. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like, maybe we can, yeah, maybe we could hire both of them and, and, you know, do like a, um, like they do with the Iditarod. Oh, yeah. yeah you know. Well, I was just thinking, you know, I was just thinking if you put them together, they could root around and make like a trail there in the you snow. Are. <laughs> Look like snakes with just the nose going and, with little and clear legs. clear it out. <laughs> Gina says, we haven't gone out yet and they have a dog door. <laughs> They're like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> and uh, for those of you... Oh, man, our internet's doing its thing. Yeah, ignore it. I can't. Yes, you can. It's messing with the broadcast, Lois. Just keep going. No. Yes. That's it. We're done. Uh, oh, my. You anyway, can... for those of you that are doubters out there, because we, we've had a couple of people that are like, it's not three or four inches. Yes, it is. I put a picture in it. I had a tape measure. Deal with it. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> there is a total accumulation of between three and four inches, depending on where you're at. Obviously, on the roads, not that much stuck because, you know, they're black and they stay a little warmer. And so not as much stays there. It melts and melts. <laughs> and and like, freezes and becomes <clears throat> black ice. But there is a picture yes. of a tape measure in the snow. Now, I didn't take it at an advantageous place like I could have because I have a chair that's on the porch that has way more than three or four inches in it. But that's a snow drift. <laughs> Here in Page, that's a snowdrift anyway, of at least five inches. Just saying. <laughs> Just oh saying, goodness. man. Just oh saying. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Gina says, Batman logo is cool with the Christmas tree lights. Why, thank you. <laughs> that's my, my part active hey, camo there's, today. There's, there's an, a, a new uh, format for the logo, what? for the Batman logo. For the Batman logo? Christmas tree lights? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. why not? Batman smells, Batman smells, oh, Robin Lady. No? Batmobile, last day we and the Joker got away. Ow. <laughs> anyway, so yes, it's so I'm very excited. Yeah. Apparently, uh, somebody put in, in the picture comment that uh, out in Kaibato, they didn't even get that much. And it was like, oh, normally they're, they're the ones that get piled and we get nothing. Yeah, pretty much. We get nothing. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but but today we the, got the, the 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 snowstorm liked us. Yes. Yay! <laughs> You know, so if, if you do have to go outside today, be careful. Yes, please. People please. are not smart in the snow. They're like, oh, everything's fine. And then... 
<laughs> Don't let it happen to you. It, it happened several times last night. I've already started working on um, some of the news for tonight. There and are some really bad accidents out there, yeah. guys. There were roads that were shut down last night. Unfortunately, it was a mess. Yeah. So if you do have to go out there, please be careful. Give yourself plenty of room to stop and drive slow. Yes. Yes. It's Give Arizona. yourself enough time. Yeah, it's Arizona. Not many people know how to drive in the snow. Oh, wait. Nobody knows how to drive in the snow. <laughs> That's, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't they do had, it, man. They Don't had do a it. lot of slide-offs last night. Um, one rig de decided, well, probably not decided, mm. but ended up doing a slide. and. Yeah, not good. Yeah, not, not, good. not pretty. It so, was very uh, ugly. Yeah, and one person had commented on ADOT that um, he had been stuck uh, waiting in traffic for over two hours, and it was, you know, 20 degrees. So be careful out there, guys. And make sure you got a, a bug out bag that's got, you know, warm clothes, food, stuff like that. Because if you are stuck out there and it's that cold, you're going to need something to stay warm. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, you know, it's funny. Oh, man. Just ignore it. I can't ignore it. It's driving me crazy. You know, it's dri probably driving them crazy too. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, because our, our our video starts going doo, 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 and jerking up. Maybe, maybe the snow is interfering with our signal. It, no, probably yeah. not. I, I think it'll melt it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if it would, I tell you what. So Renee's saying, wait until the sun comes up and if you're in Flagstaff, be safe. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the sun will come up and oh, go away. It's going to stop. But. We're supposed to be getting more, theoretically, over Monday of the new year and all that stuff. So, we'll have to Be see. careful. Yes, be careful. Either way, be careful. Please, yeah. be careful. Yeah, if you have to go outside of town and all that. It was, it was funny. You mentioned on the Unplugged this morning. You're like, oh, I don't know if any of the schools are closed. Apparently, they're closed because anyway. of Christmas. Anyway, so, yeah. not a big deal. But uh, if you have to go in and out of page, be safe. <laughs> I remember one year, back in the day. Oh, this boy. is before you were here in page there, Lois. Oh, boy. We had uh, we had some really nasty uh, winter weather. Is uh, this the year of the fog? No, no. Oh, okay. This is a different. <laughs> there was ice uh, coming up Lake Powell Boulevard when uh, you know when you're coming back up from where Walmart is, coming uh -huh. up that hill towards the library right there. That thing was covered in a sheet of ice, and nobody could get up that sucker, man. They was coming up, and I was like, meow. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it was the funniest. It was like watching a slow motion ballet of disaster. Wow. It was hilarious. And I actually had somebody that I knew. They had, they had a, they had a Jeep. And, uh, they, Not you? No. It was, <laughs> I, I was fine. I was out having a blast. <laughs> I, I spent the very large portion of my earlier years in Colorado, which is where I learned how to drive. So I have no issues with this. But anyway, they had a Jeep. They forgot it had four-wheel drive. Uh-oh. So they went up the hill and did the same thing as everybody else. Wah, and when I asked them later, they're like, I got stuck and I couldn't come up the hill. I was like, did you put it in four-wheel drive? And they're like, oh, yeah. It was just like, <laughs> ugh. See, that's, I guess that's, what, worse or better than mine? When I had my Jeep, mm -hmm. I, I I threw her in four-wheel drive all the time. Mm -hmm. And this says a lot about Jeeps, by the way. <laughs> um, and <laughs> and I, I would go four-wheel and go on to the tough trails and yada, yada, yada. And then um, I met you, mm -hmm. and we went out four-wheel driving. We were trying to do something. You ended up high-centering yes. my, my, my Jeep. Because you had and, a newer Jeep, and it was lower to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the oil pan was. Yeah, it was the um, no, no, actually, it was, it was the skid plate in the middle of the. Oh, was the it Jeep. the skid plate? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I thought it was. Because it was longer and lower. I had a CJ5, which means by the time the front tires have cleared it, the back tires are on it. So you can't really high center. It's just like. Well, you were having problems with mm -hmm. it. And so like, what you, is going on? you ended up looking, and I had no four wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, the 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 airlines had busted because they were plastic and I didn't know. <laughs> I I figured I was going over these trails and stuff that you had to have four wheel drive for. I was throwing her into four wheel drive. Was it working? Not realizing I wasn't throwing her into four wheel drive. <laughs> Give me some overconfidence there. Uh, oh, we got a bunch of comments. No, we over do. Here. We Let's do. We got. Um, I already read that one. Okay. Scott says, FYI, Bank of the West will be open normal hours today. Awesome. Hey! Good to hear. Thank Thanks you. for the info, Scott. Uh, Renee says, you're not jerky on our end, just repeating some, so it must be lapsing. Uh, uh, probably. Doing that. Yeah. Either that or I'm sitting here saying the same thing over and over 
and over and over, saying the same thing over and over again. I don't know. Shh. You be quiet. Be quiet. Renee says, uh, winter of 1516. I believe, uh, yeah, that, I think that's about right. The winter of 1516 is when, is when the people were doing the... Oh, oh. Was it 1516? You weren't here for 1516, were you? I think it was 15. Yeah. Well, we're here in 18. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, you and know what? No, it's it mess. must have been f- um, winter 15 mm-hmm. going into 16. That, that's why it says 15, 16. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> My brain isn't completely working yet. Derby says, oh, I remember the fog. Two weeks of soup that you got five miles out of town and it was clear. Yes, Derby, but it was more than two weeks. It was actually closer to the whole month. It was actually a phenomenon. It made it across the news all across the country because we had this little fog cap right there on the <laughs> page. And it was epic. I loved it. Oh, it was so cool. It was like it was like being in like Scotland or something. Aliens. Not Scot well, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I'm, the I'm Scots sure it was. pretty much. Yeah, you know. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really neat. <coughs> <coughs> and once you got just outside of Page, it was like a wall that separated, it, de- it delineated us from the rest of Arizona. We had a little fog patch, and it just sat here. And it was because of this really uh, this really cool snowstorm that we had, and I went out four-wheeling for that and everything like that. But uh, the snowstorm, uh, it was the snow was here so bad that it actually created a really big temperature inversion with the humidity, and it kept the fog right there. Just like that. <laughs> Sitting right here. I yes, want it to so happen is again. That, is that exactly how it worked? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, I took out my hands and said, fog, let it be here. Now. And there it was. But uh, one person that I know of absolutely despised it. The pizza fairy has an aversion to uh, to negative sunlight. If, if there's not bright sunshine out, she hates life. And uh, so that if, if you guys are wondering, you know, the pizza fairy is always so happy, always so excited, everything's so amazing, unless there's no sun, then she is the most miserable person in the world. Vitamin D, babe. Vitamin D. We, yeah, she tried that. <laughs> it didn't work. She has to have the sun. Oh, my. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she absolutely despised that entire period of time when so it was So what happening. you're saying is she's a reptile. Uh, no, that's you. You're the reptile. No, I'm you. just, no, I'm you're just going with, with the whole, they, you know, they go into hibernation. They hide mm-hmm. yeah. when, when, you know, cold comes around. But also when there is no sunlight. Yep, and much. and so you're saying she is also uh, a, sure, a reptile. Sure, why not? I'll go with that, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going with you're a reptile because you're cold-blooded, and unless it's 80 degrees, you're toast. I mean, you're, you're either too cold or you're too hot, and 80 Pretty degrees much. is the sweet spot. I used to think it was 75. I was wrong. <laughs> it's 80. If it's one degree over 80 or one degree under 80, she's either freezing or boiling to death. Pretty much, yes. But but we have already established that I'm a little lizard. I'm the one that does the... Yeah, you guys know the little lizards. They do the push-ups out there. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> that would be me. Right there. Right there. Jesus says... Uh, I'm better than I do. <laughs> Jesus yeah. says, I wish I could remember the year on Christmas Day that we had six inches of snow. I remember that. That was amazing. <laughs> Oh. Um, Gina says the pizza fairy needs a sun lamp. Yes, she does. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was it was pretty pathetic because I was having a blast. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous, and I was just doing amazing. And she was miserable. <laughs> <sighs> I tell you, but I I do like inclement weather in general. I so love like, it when it rains enough to where there's puddles because I get to play in the puddles. Yay! Yes. I get to splash in them and drive in them, and then there's mud, and the mud is fun as well. And this is what happens when you grow up jumping into puddles yes. after it rains. Yeah, no, no, you, not you, many people do you, that nowadays. You advance into splashing in them in four-wheel drive vehicles. Yes. <laughs> the only difference between men and boys <laughs> is the size of their toys. <laughs> Pretty You'll much, find. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun stuff, man. <laughs> but yeah, that was really cool. So there is, you know, three, four inches out there in the non-road areas for those of you that want to be sticklers. <laughs> just saying. I said, we did take a picture. It's over three inches, just slightly. <laughs> and that was in a non-snow drift area. <laughs> that was in my front yeah. we, had, we had somebody ask, they're like, they're like, uh, whoa, where did it snow three or four inches? I'm like, my front yard, because I just went outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right there. It's on the picture. Right there. It is, it is. Yeah, that's my front yard. <laughs> so I wonder, you know, it was supposed to get really, really nasty in our surrounding areas. They were expecting one to three inches here. And honestly, it's probably closer to three inches. But shh. <laughs> <laughs> three or four is, you know, I mean, the, the snow drifts were at least four or five. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> so, so you're wondering how bad it got in the surroundings? Yes, I, I do wonder because the, that's where the ma- the winter storm was supposed to be really bad at. And you know, I do know, like in Flagstaff, they're probably all toast. No, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Snow plows everywhere. So it is a good thing that school is out because um, you know. If this, if school wasn't out, they'd definitely be closing it now. Today. I don't know why. Oh, this is Paige. I remember in Colorado oh, when when we were going to school there, man. It, got, it was uh, what was it? I think it was. I'm trying to remember what year it was. I think it was '98. No, no, it was '97. I think it was '97. They had this huge snowstorm, and we got, I think it was like six feet overnight or so. It was something ridiculous. And uh, that was it, man. The whole city, done. And I'm not talking like, like, oh, no, we can make it. Uh-uh. <laughs> we went out. Uh, my, my dad decided we were going to go to the store. <laughs> I remember this story yeah, now. Yeah, you remember <laughs> Decided we were going to go to the store. So in the garage, we got in the Jeep. He opens up the garage door, and there's a wall of snow. And phew, right out we went, man. <laughs> and we're, we're driving along, having a good old time, you know, driving through the snow. And there's cars dotting the roads like dead fish. That, that People have just abandoned them because the snow was up to the windows on the cars, and that was it. They couldn't go anywhere anymore. And so trying to weave around and pass all of this stuff and... We finally got to the store, and yep, the store was closed because nobody could get to work. <laughs> but the good news is, we were actually able to help out some. Uh, like I said, I, I was uh, I was a bit younger than I am today, by by a couple of years. <laughs> but uh, there was there was a, a policeman that had uh, he was driving his cruiser along and uh, had ended up down in a ditch, I and he was standing up on the road, and he's like, oh, and my dad pulled up, and he's like, you know, do you need some help? And he's like, sure. So my dad pulls the winch out of the Jeep, hooks it up to the police car, pulls him up out of the ditch and everything, and the police officer thanks and everything. He says, now you should probably go home. It's not safe to drive, and you might get stuck. And we're like, <laughs> and off we went. That's a bit so. of <laughs> irony right there. Yeah, we thought it was kind of funny. But anyway. And, and you know, that's probably one of those... Y- you know, every once in a while, you'll get one of those moments where you've said something and you're going, what did I just say? Yeah, pretty much. It. <laughs> we just kind of look at it and we're like, <laughs> oh, okay. Right. You know, like, like if you're in a restaurant and somebody tells you, um, like, uh, have a good meal or, or something like that and you say, you too? Yeah. <laughs> I've like, done that a lot. Know I know exactly what you speak of. <laughs> Or, or you do it again, like, sorry. like uh, hi, how are you doing? And like, oh, I'm great. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? And it's like, wait, stop the cycle. Stop the cycle. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, have you done that before? No, I have not. That's terrible. <laughs> Gina says, uh, Montana only closed schools for the Santa Ana winds. Uh, we had to dig trails through two or three foot of snow to get to the bus stop. Yes, I have seen it. And in Colorado, normally they didn't close the schools. I mean, those thing, man, it, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. But that, that one day... Everything was just done. See, now... Um, Maybe it was 96. I don't know. 96, 97. Oh, hey. I think it was 90, 96, 97. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it was a lot of snow, man. It was like... <laughs> 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 it was cool. It was fun. Um, uh, now, now, the reason why I said, you know, it's a good thing that, that the schools are closed because over in Flagstaff, mm-hmm. um, NAU students would still be required to go. Yes. Yeah, I remember yeah, this happened to you. you. They Flag- shut down Highway 89 between here and Flagstaff, and NAU, you know, at the time she still had to go they to had physical actually, classes. Yeah, I did, but they had actually closed the 40 and the 17 as well. Yeah, so the 40, the 17, and Highway 89 all closed, and the school said, no, you have to get here. Uh-huh. But Flagstaff Unified, yeah, yeah, yeah. they they closed all their schools. Yeah, everything was closed down. They're <laughs> like, it's, it's too, you know, stay safe, stay home. NAU was like, no, get your butt to school. <laughs> yeah. I can't. The freaking road is closed, you idiot. And, and the, the, <laughs> what made this even more amazing was Flagstaff PD was saying, if you don't have to go anywhere, Stay home. Yeah. <laughs> and so she had to drive 134 miles to get to school on a closed road. <laughs> I did. Amazingly, thankfully, um, they, they did open portions of it. Yeah. But it was just still, it was like, what? It was ridiculous. <laughs> but the road is closed, you twits. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Ugh, that's horrible, man. And the state agencies are saying, no. <laughs> I think you should 
Yeah, pretty much. And I think the, the, the dean or whatever was like, well, I'm from Minnesota and it snows more and blah, blah, no, blah. It, I, I think it was Wisconsin. Whatever. Either the way. point is, this ain't Wisconsin, this Arizona. You get more than an inch of snow on the ground, everybody loses their mind. Yes, I do. I don't yeah. care if you can drive, nobody else can. It's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Gina's saying the snowmobile weather. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And Renee saying, Chicago didn't close schools very often, but in 78, 79, we got out of school for Christmas and didn't go back until February. Holy cow! Wow! <laughs> ask him, well, was it because of the snow or the war zone? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wait, think, no, that's nowadays. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I think it, it, I don't think it was as bad back then <laughs> as it is now. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. But yeah, it's, it's, it's so cool out there. I wish, I wish it would stay. Me too. I wanted to I, I'm glad it snowed because we were talking about this at some point. And, and I'm going to use you as a, as a literal prop oh, here. Oh, jeez. I am happy. There I am is. able to wear my snow boots. There it is. <laughs> there it is, guys. Look at that. She got the snow boots and boom on right here. She got those in flags now. Look at that. Ooh, yep. Those, those were a gift from Mama Lois. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I get to wear my snow boots today. <laughs> and and then I'm out there in my tennis shoes, and she's like, oh, your poor feet. I'm like, it's fine. The snow is so cold and powdery and dry, it didn't melt. <laughs> and you're out there bundled up like, oh, and I'm like, yeah. And then I, and then I did a Marco Polo. Yes. And uh, went out without my coat because it's actually warmer. Um <laughs> So, um, and, and Renee says uh, it was because of a blizzard. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That, that the schools were closed for that long. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. That's a long time. Yeah, it is. That, that reminds me of another winter story here. So, th- this one, I remember the year because, because it all rhymed together. See, I used to be in the Boy Scouts back in the day. Oh, boy. And it was the Freezery Jamboree of 1993. I mean, how easy is that to remember? You will remember that until the day you die. (laughs) (laughs) But it was epic. We were all out camping in the mountains in Colorado. It was negative like 34 degrees outside. And there was snow because we were up in the mountains and stuff. No. That is true. (laughs) But, you know, I I was set because I had, I had, uh, I had like four jackets on. I had, I had uh, four or five pairs of socks for gloves on my hands. And I had the same thing. I had like like six pairs of socks in my boots, and then I had uh, the Walmart bags. Actually, back then it was King Supers bags. I was going to say Walmart. I don't think was around no. na- nationally. Yes, it was. But anyway, uh, so anyway, we had a King Supers chain. It was a uh, uh, that's their grocery store in uh, in Colorado. For for those of you that don't know what King Supers is, we had King Supers bags wrapped around that, and then you put that in your boots. So it was quite effective. Still, no. Yeah, it was that, fun. That's a bit too cold. No. Yeah, it was chilly. I, that was I, where your, your boogers froze instantaneously. As soon as you breathed in, you could feel your sinuses going. <laughs> and like, ah. I have been in that cold, and it was negative 20 in Denver. Yeah, well, this and, is yeah, and Colorado. But it, we're it in the mountains, man. It was the first time I had ever felt my nose hairs freeze. <laughs> it on, is definitely an, an unforgettable inhale. experience. Holy crow! <laughs> It is unforgettable. It really is. I just, mm -mm, no. (coughs) But it it was was a fun time. I bet it was. was I don't think you could do it now. I could do it. At negative 30. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I guarantee it I could do it. You'd still have fun? I didn't say that. (laughs) Could I do it? (laughs) And that is a bit like... (laughs) (laughs) I wish it would stick around and that we can go four-wheeling, but we, we don't have the Jeep anymore, Lois. Uh, let's see, true. Gina says, a uh, nice Christmas break, I'll bet all the parents were praying for the snow to melt. Yeah, I guarantee uh-huh. they were praying for that to melt. They're like, get rid of the kids! Ah! Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, speaking of getting rid of kids, that reminds me of one of the things we talked about last night. <laughs> With uh, the whole CenturyLink uh, internet outage. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, for those of you that didn't watch the news last night or didn't hear about it, their CenturyLink was having a nationwide outage all, you know, it was in and out doing all kinds of stuff. And uh, I don't know if they fixed that yet. I don't we'll know. Have we'll have to look check. and see. Yeah. But uh, either way, there was uh, there were people responding to the outage and commenting on the outage on Twitter. And one of the funniest ones was that guy 
the mention he's like he's like for shame CenturyLink for for not fixing the internet because my kids you know were, uh, okay. how did it go it, it, uh, you you I sent it to you but uh, um it was something along the lines of you expect us to interact with it. our children and not and put not them in front of YouTube <laughs> yeah for shame CenturyLink for shame <laughs> and then another I think my absolute favorite one was a guy that tweeted at CenturyLink he said. He said, have you tried unplugging your router and plugging it back in? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why, I mean, it, you, you, last night, there were several things that were, were funny um, with the CenturyLink thing. Mm -hmm. And so I had Chris come into the office and I said, look, I'm going to read this to you so you can get the giggles out now. <laughs> but, hey, you know what? I'm really good at that sort of thing. I'm just you are. Saying. You because are. Because I but, read a tampon recall with a deadpan face. Okay, this come is on. true. But you knew it was coming. Um, Not the tampon. Yeah, you did. Because I, I had talked to you about no, it. Right, um, right. But I just knew, especially with that. Did you unplug and plug back? <laughs> you know, unplug the router and plug it back in. Um, I knew. You were just, yeah, huh? Come on, that's funny. <laughs> it is. When you got customers and, asking you, did you try unplugging your router and plugging it back in? <laughs> Eat that, CenturyLink. Now, now, what's even funnier, which I did not tell you, is that there was somebody who claimed to be a representative from CenturyLink. Oh, yes. Don't know if it's true or not. Oh. Um, but they responded with, it's not that easy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you just like, stepped into it wow. right there, man. You just stepped into it right there. Because you know the customer was joking. Because oh, it, yeah. everybody gets tired of hearing it. It's like, really? I was like, that's the first thing I tried. Thank you, though. Uh, yeah, <sighs> but um, the, you used to work. I don't start. I so you don't. know that there are reasons for those for those procedures. <laughs> Heather says, I'm from Denver, so Denver, so uh, I understand that my mom used to do the same thing with the bags. Yes! And uh, let's see. Some were praying for milk because they couldn't get to work either. But we made the best of it. Our cousins from the suburbs <laughs> camped out at uh, Graham's because they couldn't get home either. It was a blast. Nice. <laughs> She's talking about that Chicago thing. And that is awesome. And Renee says, uh, the sheriff's office called and said 911 was back up and running at about 8 p.m., on my business line. Okay, yes. Good. And we did put a, a notice here on the page last night. It was, uh, you know. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> and last night at 8.07, because uh, the Coconino County Sheriff's uh, 911 was down, so we put out a notice, and Facebook nerfed it. So whenever you see a notice like that come out, make sure that you uh, like and share those, because that's the only way Facebook will unnerf it, because it was actually an important thing, but Facebook is like, mm, no. You've already put out too much. Yeah, pretty Shame much. Shame on you. So, so just be aware of that when you guys comment, like, share the whole nine yards, every single one of those makes a huge difference. It's the only way we can get our stuff farther out, and that's up to you guys. So we do appreciate it, and don't forget, we're also trying to give Zuckerberg his emoticon in I was waiting for it. Yes. <laughs> so make it, make it waterfall emoticons. Yes! Destroy the Zuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't help oh. it, man. It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. It is. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, so lots and lots of winter stuff. Uh, yeah, I definitely. I want to um, go play in it. I know you do. I know you do. But the um, Jeep is gone. I know. <sighs> I miss the Jeep. I know you do. It's terrible. I, I but we it. have a camera to talk to you guys. So. Uh, yes, yes. Sacrifices <laughs> that we make for you guys there because you're worth it. Oh, there, there it go. is. We got an emoticon go. for it. Woo! Oh. Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy so, him. So apparently you did something. I just heard the dog go off. You the did dog. something mm. to cause the dog go off. And you were talking about eating blankets. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, the Tigger, which is one of the dogs, she has a... She normally does not have this issue. Every once in a while, she'll do something stupid like, I don't know, eat a pillowcase or a hole in, in like, something. We talked about this, what, Wednesday? I don't know. Because of the new pillows? Yeah, yeah. So we were worried yeah. about it. We were, you know, so we keep those out of the way. The dog was, you know, left alone in, in the room because we were broadcasting. And we went in. After the morning cup, or after, yeah, yeah after the yesterday cup. after the morning show. <laughs> the dog ah! decided to defluff and eat half of a comforter. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
You have any idea how long? Uh, I don't even want to imagine. It, it, the fluff is going to be coming out for weeks. <laughs> and when I say coming out, dog owners know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Stop. But she destroyed it, man. It was a nice comforter <laughs> set that I got for you because you were freezing to death. I was. We got it, and the dog ate it. <laughs> <sighs> what? Oh. Your, the emojis are still flying. Now the emoticons are flying. <laughs> 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 See them? Destroy the zombie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys are amazing. Yeah, That's you are. I appreciate it. <laughs> but, yeah, the dog ate an expensive comforter. And, you know, she, like, like, Completely ate the outside of one section of it and then defluffed it. And we have no idea how much fluff that dog ingested. I don't want to know. It's not digestible. It's polyester. So it's going to be leaving stringers for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that are dog owners, you know what a stringer is when they're out in the front yard. Stop it. What? Yeah. Don't go there. I'm going to do it. No. I'm going to do it. I'm going to poke him. <laughs> Oh, it was such a just... Yeah. So anyway, the dog is in the dog house. Not that it really matters, because, you know, she has the IQ of a baked turnip. <laughs> we love her to death, but I swear that the lights are on and nobody's home. Uh, and just like... Nah. <laughs> you know, sometimes we'll be going to go outside and be like, sit there, and she'll like, like, huh? <laughs> like, what does that mean? It's like, sit. And then eventually she'll just be like... Oh, that's what it means. And the little legs will slide out and she sits with him kind of like, <laughs> you know, Bengal, you know, the other dog, he's, he's, you know, he sits and he's like, dum, dum, dum. you know, and take her to the leg. <laughs> you can see that little, little drool coming down on one side and it's not normal dog drool. It's because the brain synapses are refusing to fire. I'm telling you, the dog's got issues, man. Issues. <laughs> The dog is an issue. Yes, she is. And she's going to be more of an issue coming up. Gina says, yep, I've seen a few stingers in my day. Yeah. <laughs> or yo-yos. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yo-yos, man. Oh, Yo-yos. my. Oh, my. <laughs> I, no. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Just. And yeah. there's more, but I can't. Hey, no. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to say it on the morning. No! <laughs> but I have to do that. Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bleh! <laughs> and you do this only because it, you know it tortures me. I know. <laughs> I know. Your I reaction is so I worth it. I can't help not react. I, 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 re I try to not react. It doesn't work. It, mm, mm, no, no, it doesn't. It does not. It's like Lady <laughs> in the Tramp, man. Except it ain't pasta. <laughs> Tell us Stop. to say about that. What Stop. else? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, Our let's see. Our dying over here. I, I'm wondering if it's that far one that you have open. No, it's not because it's just a thing in my mind. But anyway. Oh, okay. Um, <sighs> but uh, David is saying, at least you will have company when Lois sends you to the DH. Don't know. Oh, doghouse. Oh, doghouse. Yes, this is true. I'm in the doghouse with the dog, so it's, mm -hmm. it, it, it's permanent. I, I live there. Oh. Yeah, because nobody loves live. me. Oh I'm going to go eat first. <sighs> <laughs> what? No. See, and I was going with, yeah, we're both in the doghouse because they live in here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess that's true, too. <laughs> they yeah. live in Homestead Studios. <laughs> so there you go. Yep. <laughs> I'll bet you she's eating the comforter right now. I, oh, you just jinxed us. I didn't you? jinx squat. That dog's got a nibbling issue. That's an understatement. And she used to not. So it's like, what is going on? Damn it! <laughs> oh, I tell you, man, that dog. If she's eating that comfort again, I'm going to be very upset. Did you at least move my pillow? Uh, no, I forgot to move the pillow. Oh, God. <laughs> my pillow! <laughs> uh. My, my pillow? Yes, it's my, my pillow. <laughs> oh, it's being a bitch. I've had it for a few days now, and I'm starting to like it. Good. It's working. I'm glad. Although you say I still snore, but that's a different issue because it I is. have the clogged sinuses, which makes me go. That's the size. You, it's, just, it, it's not only clogged sinuses. Yeah. No. <laughs> you be nice, Lois. I am being nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh, yeah, um, I I need to move my other pillow because I found last. I woke up this morning thinking, oh. 
this has been really nice and, and everything and realized I was on my old pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so I have to move my old pillow and 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 truly try the new pillow. <laughs> That's funny. But I did look at their little brochure that the that came with yeah. the um with the pillows. Uh, oh, they okay. even have dog beds. <laughs> well, as expensive as those pillows are, I don't want to know how much the dog beds. I don't want to know either. But <laughs> I was thinking, oh wow, that's really cool, and then thought. Uh, not for our dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Gina says, uh, maybe lacking some kind of nutrient. Yeah, it's called fiber. <laughs> yeah, no, no, she just doesn't. No. Yeah, we talked to the vet, and, and yeah. yeah. It, you know, it's a behavioral thing, and she usually doesn't do it, so apparently something has got her in a pickle, and she's decided that she's just going to chew on stuff. Pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah, that would be it. Bad dog. So we Bad have dog. to find what's changed and... Oy. Yeah, what? <laughs> it all started... She started chewing on her feet again, so... Hey, yeah. She's allergic to something, and every once in a while, it starts acting up in her little pads, and so she'll sit there and start gnawing on them, and, and usually that's when the nibbling on everything else starts. Because we so. keep telling her not to chew. Yeah, so she doesn't chew her foot, so she eats everything else. It's like... Wow. <laughs> And I told her the other day, oh my I goodness. said, if you don't knock it off, I'm coning you. <laughs> Maybe we need to. <laughs> yeah, the only problem with her and having a cone on is she bangs into everything and destroys the house. So we're going to have to put the cone on her and then staple the cone to a wall. And she's going to be like stuck there. Be like, just stay. Until you're healed, stay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my goodness. I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Renee says, uh, I'm getting used to my pillow, but uh, still not sure about it. I know it, it does take some time, but it, it does say I don't have as many cramps in my neck. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. I still have a shoulder issue, but that's a different problem. It, it is. Because <laughs> I do this. <laughs> yeah, because she hits me yeah. when I sleep. Because you're snoring. I woke up early because you would not stop snoring. And then you stopped when I got up. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I would never do such a horrible oh, thing. Oh, yeah, right. It's not my fault, Rose. Oh, I don't snore, you snore. Uh uh. Uh-huh. I want video proof. Okay. I want I will video broadcast proof. that on the interwebs, man. Interwebs is going to see Lois going. <coughs> You're gonna be drooling, on it, nope. and you're gonna be dueling with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh it's because I have come I, in. I there. snore like a rubber band. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> rubber band. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who remembers rubber band? I do. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina's saying that she has a cone of shame if we need it. Oh, we have um, a cone. Uh, yeah, we do. But we're gonna have to staple it to a wall to keep everyone, including her, safe. Mm. It's just saying. <laughs> you staple it to the wall and then cone the dog, and they're just gonna be sitting there going like, "Let me out! Let me out!" And like, no, <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay. <laughs> oh man, I tell you. Renee says, uh, put a t-shirt on her and see if she stops. It worked on my Dalmatian for some reason. Huh. I think she'd eat it that too. I don't know. <laughs> David <laughs> says, uh, try. does Chris listen when you tell him not to put his foot in his mouth? Nope. <laughs> I eat that thing. Yeah. Oh, maybe you need I, a cone. <laughs> I commit fully, man. I commit fully. When I put my foot in my mouth, I, I just... <laughs> Judas says, uh, I snore if I don't have my uh, my CPAP on. Yeah. I, no. Nope. Uh-huh. Nope. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> just just deal with it. That's all I got to say about that. Just say <laughs> yeah. I am not doing the machine. And, and, and you know, some people have, have uh, the sleep apnea very bad, uh, which is not good, you know, and it can be... Thing- yeah. I, and I have told you before, I do not want to know I'm dead until I try and wake up in the morning. Let me sleep. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if it happens, it happens. At least I was asleep, man. <laughs> At least I was asleep. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Oh now, that's God. not for everybody. I totally understand. But for me, that's how <laughs> this is working. <laughs> And this would be why his shoulder hurts, because I do this. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on with that. 
It's a mess. And you were you were trying to fix it the other day, but apparently there's rocks in it. So. Uh, there are. There are. There's rocks in my shoulder. And I bruised it. Uh, well, trying no, to fix it. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Green light to fix it. No, no. No, no. Oh, speaking no. of, because uh, yesterday we were talking about tying you down. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> to, to watch movies. Oh, yeah. And to watch certain movies. And, um... This thing right here took a hold of the remote. <laughs> I was trying to fix it. You broke it. I did not yes, break it. You broke it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Did not break it. And uh, I, I was trying to look for one of the two movies we were talking about. I heard something pop. You know it hurt. <laughs> something pop. <popping on> <laughs> yeah, I, I was disagreeing too much. <laughs> anyway, funk. <laughs> <laughs> and and <laughs> he did. He stole the freaking remote from me. <laughs> and when he took it, because he said, "Here, let me try, see if I can fix it." And and the problem is, is that the TV was not connecting to the internet. I fixed it. He took the remote, and what was the laugh you did? <laughs> <laughs> I win. Uh huh. I win. <laughs> I win. <laughs> and I don't want to watch those. I know you did it, but I was just trying to see if they yeah. had them available. Look on your computer. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Gina says, uh, get one of those nose plugs. But then I would breathe through my mouth, and that's why I snore. No, she. I think she's talking about one of those. Oh, well, I was thinking nose plug. I was like, tink, tink. And then I would only breathe through my mouth, and I'd be like. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why I snore anyways, because I can't breathe through my nose when it's gone. What? <laughs> you just made me snore. <laughs> And Gina says, uh, I sleep so much better with it. Well, I'm glad, Gina. That's awesome. I'm glad it's working for you. Yeah. And uh, Renee says, my husband won't use his machine. Yeah, I'd be the same way. So don't waste the money on the machine. And uh, <coughs> Gina says, uh, my husband wouldn't get one. See, uh, I'm just saying. That, that's that not happening, right? man. Suck it up. <laughs> I'm no, just that's gonna... your job. <laughs> Suck up the oxygen. Well, <laughs> oxygen's <laughs> overrated. <laughs> What? It is. Oh Oxygen goodness. is overrated. I don't need it. I'll be oh. fine. I'll be fine. Oh. I've had worse. I've had worse. Why? Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. Uh, My balls are fine. That's hilarious. So, um, I'm I'm rehashing some stuff from yesterday. Oh, what? Um, this morning. Oh. And and we talked about yesterday how I'm I'm trying out new makeup. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we <we're> trying <laughs> the new makeup. It's quite entertaining. Yay. I scared the bejesus. She came out. She's like, "How do I look?" I was like, "Ah!" I'm like, "Ah!" It's very pale. I was like, "Ah!" Like, are you alive still? Are you okay? So yes, um, apparently the the color I I have on currently is not good for living people. Yes. Or, or my yes, my were, color. If you were dead, it would be fine. <laughs> And, and so, uh, for for those who put makeup on, you know that you, with the foundation, you pretty much cover everything. And I, this stuff I'm liking only because... Great coverage. It, it, yeah, it has great coverage. A little bit goes a long way, which was part of the problem. Uh, I used the same amount as I did with the other one yesterday. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to uh, wash the sponge out now because... It's still soggy. Uh, <laughs> it's like, but, is it like a liquid foundation. Anyway? It is. Oh. It is. Um, but evidently, it's so pale. He thought I, I, I was on the brink of death. <laughs> no, like, no I know, it looks great in the studio lighting. Right, it, but, but in real life, yeah, in real life, I was like, whoa. <laughs> But she hadn't put anything else on. I so, hadn't. I hadn't. You know, there was no color except the foundation <laughs> everywhere. And I was like, whoa! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> he did. I, I asked. I said, what do you think? And he goes, oh, you're pale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I think before I even get the stuff for the contouring, I need to be doing this stuff on, on Unplugged <laughs> just to get your reactions definitely, to definitely. it. <laughs> So, yeah, this is um, product number two with the same everything else. So, it works better. You just need a slightly darker color? Uh, yeah, that, probably. I, I don't know how that works. It, it, yeah. Because we were talking about it. I told you we should get pale, color matched. But... It, 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 I'm just saying. I'm not getting color matched. Yeah, you are, is... hardware store's got the little thing. You pinch your skin in it, and it'll tell you what color you are. Yeah. You get a formula, you get, and you get a pre-mixed pan of can. You get 
Pan yeah. of paint. <laughs> <laughs> Can of paint. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't make it. You're sounding like me. Panicate. <laughs> what is a panicate? I don't even know. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, that was I think amazing. it would work much better for you. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're not going down. So that way I think we, maybe we should put some of that on unplugged as you figuring out which one you like the best. Yeah, yeah I think so. So I, a little bit because, too light, but and, it's not and your far reactions. Off. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> your reactions are are the best. They, I don't they know really what you're are. talking about. Oh, you're so full. I'm innocent. <laughs> mm. Oh. Wow, that is a lie if I have never heard one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh yeah. goodness gracious! What? So, um, what? I don't know. You're just like vaguely gesturing. Uh, no, I'm. I, I, I do vaguely gesturing. <laughs> you know this. It's my job. Vaguely gesturing. The doodad with the donkey. The boop, boop. <laughs> just like this. Oh, and, you're and supposed I take to understand it. That's, it. That's a technical term? It is. Oh, the boy. doohickey with the dungle thingy. Oh, my. Yep, yep. It is, it is. Well, we got enough time for one or two things. Would you like to do it, Lois? Sure. Right, no pictures, because our internet is uh, Well, it's, it's been a little bit... Um, I haven't been able to find anything really funny um, within the last couple of days, only because everybody's doing um, happy, joyful Christmas and New Year's things. Oh, yeah. So, um, like, uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, what are your New Year's resolutions and oh, stuff yeah. like that. So, go down to the bottom. Those are the most recent. All right, what you got, Lois? What you got? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy, here we go. Go back up. Uh, you said the bottom. Oh, There's no, you said, here. you said no, no, uh, No pictures, pictures. no video. Okay, Our internet never mind. is fragged. Never mind. Um, what you got? So, we can't do that one. Um, do, 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 Oh, the one that says, how would you feel about this? Do, 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 Oh, really? I told you the internet was fragged. What part of that did you not understand? No, you Jeopardy, man! You went Jeopardy! Oh, it's going to try and play stuff. It's going to, there it goes. We're broken! Broken! Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, all right. Anyway. I, oh, oh, no. No, it's, you broke it. Okay. So, anyway, since we, you know, no one can understand what's going on anymore. Um, let me go ahead. Oh, oh no. Maybe oh, Renee on. says, Pinocchio, your nose. Pinocchio, my It's nose. growing. <laughs> that you're innocent. I'm innocent. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, here's the headline for you guys. <laughs> This is actually kind of funny. It, it is. Girl discovers that weird tasting, in quotes, chocolate advent calendar she had been eating was meant for cats. Uh, no. Now, why there, do they have chocolate for cats? I thought chocolate was They don't for have chocolate for cats. So she thought it was chocolate and it wasn't chocolate. Mom bought three advent calendars, for one for each kid. Okay. And... Her daughter, the one that ended up with this one, likes Garfield. This was an advent calendar that had Garfield on it. So her mom thought it was a real one too? Yes. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like an intentional like... Uh, no, no. <laughs> this was being marketed for cats. It was a cat food advent calendar, <laughs> but they had Garfield on it. Oh my God. And, and they were with all of the other advent calendars... Rather than in the cat food section. Oh, that's <laughs> funny right there. Oh, there we are. Thank you for covering. <laughs> Thank you for covering. I heard something else coming out. Oh, I don't know what's that. <laughs> so, so know, of nothing. course, initially, mom didn't believe her. She thought she was being picky when when she was saying that they were weird tasting. Nope. nope. <laughs> Your daughter was eating and, the cat and, food. And in small letters below. The, the name of the calendar and everything, you know, the 2018 Advent calendar, and, and Garfield, small letters below, it says, for cats. <laughs> That's good. That is funny. I don't care here. Dirty says Lois broke the internet. Yes, she did. I did. I did. Broke the internet. First Century Lincoln, now Lois. <laughs> Bad Lois, bad. Uh, no, it's yes, fine. It's fine. Yeah, no. So, so I mean, it's hilarious, but I feel really bad for the girl. I know because I mean, it's fine, man. You're, do you for for those of you guys out there that don't know this? 
All pet food actually has to pass FDA standards for human consumption because during times of recession or extreme stuff, sale of pet food goes up because sometimes that's all people can afford. So it is edible by humans. It's fine. It's not going to hurt you. That's not why I feel bad for her. She was expecting chocolate. <laughs> but, so my question, my question then is this. How many days of the advent calendar did she eat before they found the label? Well, it was over ten. That and <laughs> <laughs> it took him ten days to figure out. Hey, that ain't chocolate, man. Because mom wasn't believing her. How old Just was the kid? Does she not know how to read? I I, I don't think she cared. I don't think she even noticed. <laughs> she was eating for ten days. Like this chocolate tastes funny. Read the label, man. <laughs> I got no sympathy at all. Zero. None. I, come Zero. on. Nada. Come on. It's like <laughs> no. expecting the flavor of one thing and getting something else. Yeah, yeah. and so I'd check it and be like, oh, God, what is that? And I'd look, and I'd be like, oh, it's cat food. But that, <laughs> ten days, man. Ten days. <laughs> she, you know what? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just putting it out there. This kid is falling under the tigger category of baked turnip for brains. Uh, no. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. She's just too trusting. That's what... When I was a kid, She's I questioned just... everything, man. Oh, no, you did not! Except for the jackalope. <laughs> there was no way to research jackalope. I found pictures. You be quiet about the jackalope. It's not funny. I'm scarred for life, Lois. Be nice. Jackalopes were real until I was, like, 18 years old. Shh! It's not funny, Lois. Be nice! Oh, no! I questioned oh. everything except jackalope. <laughs> And the purple pot spotted kid killer, but I found out that wasn't real when I was like fifteen. So she. Sh but still. But the jackal. She was though. still young enough. She yeah. was like nine, eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there. All right, fine. Oh. I will give her a small amount of oh. sympathy. That's not. Oh. A little tiny bit. Oh. But not a lot. My. Not a lot. <laughs> she just says, uh, "Carob is what they use for cats and dogs." And Darby says, uh, that's almost as funny as the lady that keeps pranking her dad with Pharaoh Roche wrapped Brussels oh, sprouts. Oh, <laughs> that's evil. Oh, my God. I, that's horrifying. I need to do that with you. <laughs> <laughs> you open it up and like, oh, this green thing must be... No. Oh, there's your evil prank. <laughs> Dip those things in chocolate so they're covered and someone's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> then he's dead right there. I would die. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are the devil. The <laughs> devil. <laughs> and I have some in the freezer and in the fridge. Blech. Yeah. <laughs> Blech. <laughs> but yeah, that would be like the ultimate prank. Chocolate covering Brussels sprouts and then putting them in the, the, the roof. Yeah, that's wrapper. just nasty. I like Blech. Brussels sprouts, but no. <laughs> Uh, I, I think I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. I knew you were going to say that. Go ahead and... No, we're done, Lois. That was it, man. Done? Yeah, there, we, we oh. ran out of time. Oh, we ran out of time, Lois. Oh, but the next one was really funny. No. Yes. You have to save it for tomorrow, no. Lois. Yes. There is no tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Monday. Whatever. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, and as far as we know, if you have recycled today, it is still working. Is it? I thought they were we... doing one day forward. I don't know. I don't know, man. It should be working today. All right, whatever. If you if you have recycling, I'm right. meaning because of the snow. All right, I don't know. Uh -uh. I'm saying it's a day off, probably Monday. Really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on these videos. We really do appreciate it. I'm going to go outside and take some pictures of the snow. Have fun in the snow. Watch out for crazy people that don't know how to drive. Yes. And if you don't know who those people are, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You've seen that meme before. <laughs> yes, I have. If you're not sure exactly who we're talking about, we're probably talking about you. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so be safe oh out there. Goodness. Have an amazing day. And yes. thanks again for joining us. We will see you guys on the next one. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> Who's ready for the Rupert? Rupert. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.